hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by thank you for the love happy easter in advance today i will be showing you how i made this dress my daughter is wearing i used one meter of damask fabric a little bit of duchess satin or dolphin satin some trimmings lining and tool i will be leaving the list of items in the description box also i got this damax fabric of aliexpress also the six inches tool i use i got of aliexpress please do well subscribe to my channel turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime i post a video please guys help me share my video thank you let's quickly get into the video so guys to make this board dress i have my the main fabric here this is like a a damask fabric and this is just one meter one meter is 40 inches i might be leaving all the materials i used in the description box so i have my lining here this is the lining i'll be use, using this is just a um polyester lining that's the kind of lining they have in where i stay i have about two yards of lining and this one is one yard which is the main fabric i'm going to manage this main fabric because of the sleeve is a balloon sleeve i don't know if it will be enough and then i have this um doll face satin i'll be using in front of the dress and i have this two this tool is six inches wide. I will be using it to form ruffles around the neck and around the edges of where I'll be putting this um, satin. And then I also have my other net I'm going to be putting underneath to give it um, extra puffiness. And then I have my zipper and some rhinestones stones I'll be putting in front of the dress. So we're just quickly going to draft the pattern. So I'm going to use this dress is for five years old so now we're going to rule the starting line next thing we're going to measure the half length which is 10 inches we're going to add one inch to it making 11 inches really it out after that we're going to insert the shoulder measurement shoulder measurement are working with is 10 inches Divide 10 inches by 2, that is 5 inches. We're going to mark it on our starting line, 5 inches. Next thing we'll measure the arm or I'm working with is 13 inches, which is 6 and a half. I'm going to mark it 6 and a half inch. I'm going to connect that shoulder measurement to the arm hole. So right here, down the armhole there, so we are going to set our chest measurement, which is 24. We divide 24 into 4 places, which should give us 6 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance. That is 7 inches. You can add 1 or 2 inches, any amount you like. I'm just going to connect to it. I'm going to set the waist measurement, which is 23. Divide 23 into 4, which is 5 and a half. Plus 1 inch, that is 6 and a half. I'm going to connect the show the bust measurement to the waist measurement. So now for the neck width, I'll be using a neck width of 2.5 because the neck is not too open. And it's almost like a total neck. So I'll be using neck width of 2.5 and neck depth of 2.5. This is for the front bodies. So I don't want it too tight. That's why I'm using the neck depth of 2.5. So I'm just going to um, roll my round neck. So now I'm going to come to the armhole on the shoulder. Measure half an inch to get your shoulder slant. I'm just going to connect it to the neck width. So now because I'm putting sleeve, I'm not going to look for the midpoint and come inside by half an inch. I'm just going to connect this shoulder slant to this bust measurement. to 
put half an inch around the neck width, the shoulder and around the armhole. That's your seaming um, allowance. Now, I'm just going to cut it out. So, to cut down the back bodies, I've gone ahead to roll the zipper line. This line, this is the zipper line, which is one inch. I'm using one inch for my zipper line. And I just place the front bodies on top of the pattern for the back bodies. And at this point where the uh, shoulder point is, I just ruled a straight line there. I use my ruler to rule a straight line because I'll be using this line as a guide to get my neck depth. Because I use two and a half for the front body, so I'm using one inch as the neck depth for the back. I'm just going to measure it one inch. Plus, um, I'm going to one inch, yes. I'm gonna leave it like that and I'll connect it to the shoulder. So now I'm just going to cut it out. We have our front body and the back body, so I'm just going to quickly use it. To cut out the fabric and then this fabric this is one yard we first of all remove the bottom so the length i'm working with is 25 and the half length is 10 inches so we need 15 inches for the bottom part as the skirt length we need half inch to join the upper bodies and the down bodies together making 15 and a half and then i will take another one inch to run the bottom making 16 and a half so i'll be removing the length of 16 and a half remember this fabric is one meter so it will have joining So I'm just going to measure 16 and a half, mark it and cut it out. So now we have removed the down part, see it's into two. So this is like two yards. So one yard here and one here at the back. So just going to set it on the side, and I'm going to use from the main one to cut out the bodies. Whatever we, whatever we have is what we will be used to cut the sleeve. Just going to place our pattern on it. So guys, I'm done cutting it. The, the front bodies and the back bodies. This is the back. So I just realized like I didn't put um allowance to the half length. You can see that I didn't put allowance, so I'm going to be cutting out band. See, this is ten and a half, and the half length is ten inches. This is ten and a half. That half inch came from the shoulder joining. The allowance I added to the shoulder. I didn't add one inch for the droplet, so I'm going to cut two inches of band. I think I'm going to cut one sleeve and use it to cut the other one. The sleeve length I'm working with is uh, sleeve length is five inches. So because of I'm going to be putting elastic, so I might even use this eleven inches as length. Like you have to double it. So the cap height I'm working with is. Uh, Cap size is 3.5. Mark it here. On that 11, I'm going to come down by 3.5, which is the cap's height. So this is the point. This is the point I'm starting from here. 
I'm going to connect it. To get your cap size is your bust measurement divided by 12 plus half inch. So because of its puffy sleeve, I'm just going to the normally the round curve. The round curve is 8 inches because it's a puffy sleeve. You see, it's double 8 inches, which is perfect for me. So I'm just going to cut it out. I will use this one to cut out the second sleeve. So at least I have the sleeve now. I'm going to set it aside. Now I'm looking for band. And I need like 2 inches width. Because before I will join it to the main body. So before I cut out the lining, I'm going to attach this one to it. So we use the, the length to cut out the lining. So I'm also going to cut out band for the back. Let me quickly join the band. Let me join it before I will use it to cut out the lining. So guys, I'm done attaching the band that I cut to extend the length. So just like you make any mistake like me, that's what you should do. Just cut band and extend the length. And I've also gone ahead to cut out the lining. So because of this, the body, the body is not the same length. Like I didn't add the um, allowance. I didn't use it to cut out the lining. I used this one to cut out the lining. Also cut out the lining for the back. So this is it. And I've attached it. I just sewed it. That's all. So now... For the design in front, which I'm using the Duchess satin, I'm going to alter the pattern we cut. So this pattern, I'm going to alter it now. I'm just going to use form a circle. So it depends on you, depends how deep you want it to be. So I'm going to work with like from the middle of the shoulder, almost the middle. I'm gonna draw like a circle. So this is what I will use now to cut out the Dutchess satin. I'm going to put my Dutchess satin on fold. And I'm going to, this is it. All I'm going to do is just top stitch it. I'm just going to press it on top and on the neck because I'm going to put in ruffles at the side. So I'm not going to bother about stitching here first because it's going to cover it. So I'll just press it on top and on the neck. So let me go and press this one. After pressing it, I'm going to join the shoulder with the half an inch i'm going to press it so let me join that first so i'm done pressing it on top i'm going to take this tool now so this tool is six inches wide and this is the tool i'll be using for the neck too so I just want to see if I use, if I fold it into two, if it's going to be too wide. Okay. So I'm going to measure around how many I have. How many inches I have. 
So I have about 21 and a half inches. So that would be 21. That would be about 43 inches if I choose to double it. But because I want it um, very full, I'm going to cut about 100 inches. That's um, approximately less than 3 yards of this tool. So let me measure it. That was 60 inches. So the more you gather it, as in, I think the more you gather, the more it will be better. 60 plus 40, that will give me 100 inches. And remember, I'm going to um, fold my own into two. So now I'm going to cut it out and then I'll go and gather it. So I'm done doing the gathers. So I'm just going to sew it on top like so. Going to sew it round. So let me go and sew this one on top. So I'm done attaching it. The next thing I'm going to join the shoulders together. It's gonna to be right side facing right side. I have to join it like so. Do the same thing for the other shoulder. And I'm going to join the shoulder of the lining together. That's the front body and the back body together. So now I'm going to measure the neckline and minus one inch. That one inch is the zipper. I'm going to remove one inch and then start from after one inch and measure around the neckline. So I'm also going to stop before one inch and that's about 13 and a half inches so i'm going to um cut out about 30 inches of this one that's less than one yard so now because i don't want the one in the neck to be too high into three i'm going to fold it like so and i'm going to gather it up or gather this end up so I'm done doing the colors on this one. I'm going to place it on the neck, starting from I'll leave one inch and then start to sew it. I'm just going to press it on top like so. Down to the other side. Then I'm going to use my lining. I'm going to take my lining now. Now I'm going to sew. I'm going to start from leave one inch. And then start sewing it to the other end. I'll still leave one inch when I get there, making sure that the shoulder stay match. So that by the time I turn it, the collar will stand up to stand. So I'm done turning it on the neck. This is it. So for it to relax when I turn it, I'm going to notch it. I'm going to notch around here. So for the sleeve, I'm going to start from here. I'm going to start, I'll leave one inch and start attaching it. And then before that, I'll secure this place I notched the middle. I'll secure it with pin to the um, shoulder joining. And then when I get to like three inches away from the shoulder joining, I'll just split it a bit. Just so that the top of the shoulder, yes, three inches. So that the shoulder will have, um, so that the sleeve will have that puff at the up, it will stand at the top of the sleeve. And then the same thing for the other side, just like that. Secure the middle with pin so that it will balance. Secure the middle with pin. Then from three inches now, I'm going to push this net inside like so. Push the net inside. And then I'm just going to leave one inch here. And then start sewing. Then when I get close to the shoulder line, three inches of the shoulder, I'll cut, I'll pleat it or gather it up. Do the same for the other sleeve. So I'm done attaching the sleeve. You can see that's the sleeve on both sides. But I've not closed it. So next thing, I'm going to flip the back, and then this is the sleeve. We're going to roll it up to the middle. And then carry our lining outside. And 
Now we're going to sew. See, I didn't start from the beginning. You're going to leave one inch. So the same thing for the lining. You're going to leave one inch. And then you're going to sew your half inch down to the other end of the armhole. You do the same thing for the other armhole. So now we're going to turn it out. So once you turn it down, this is what you have. This is it, this is the inside. I'm going to give it a press. Oh. Now I'm going to take the sleeve and I'm going to close it. I'm going to close it with half inch or one inch down to the armhole. I will close the other one too. So now I'm done closing it, the sleeve. I'm going to take the lining now. You can see the lining is separate and the main fabric is here too. I'm going to close the main fabric with one inch up to the armhole. going to close it so you take the line in two remember the sleeve is hanging here we are closing the, the main fabric first close it one inch it will be hanging on its own now you take the lining you are going to close it to one inch so let me close it and show you how to connect it to the hand so after closing the lining and the fabric separately with the one inch i also use the, the lining to run the edge of the sleeve this is the sleeve because the fabric is fraying and i don't have surgery right now so i just use lining to cover it like bias so now you have this small opening here in the middle of the armpit so now you're going to open your main fabric and open your lining like so. Now because I already closed my sleeve with bias, so it's like it's together one. So I'm going to fold it, I'm going to bend it to one side, else I'm supposed to open it up too. So once you open it up, because this one now I'm going to flip it over to one side. You can flip it to the left or to the right, anywhere you like. I'm gonna flip it there and then open this one up now I'm going to sew it I'm going to sew it just sew the armhole now after you finish opening it open your lining too and make sure that that sleeve is inside here the sleeve is inside this sleeve is inside it so this is the middle, the middle joining. Now you're going to sew it with the half inch down to um, the other opening. Because I've already done it for this side. You can see it. I've already closed it. So when you finish closing it, this is what you will have. And this is what the inside will look like. So once you are done doing that, you are going to run your sleeve so that you can pass your elastic through it. I already did this one. And I will just leave this space. This is the space I'm going to pass the elastic through. I just folded it half an inch and then folded it like maybe more than half an inch. So almost one inch. So. So now we're going to fix the elastic. I've cut out my elastic. The round cover I'm working with is 8 inches and I have cut out 8 inches. And I'm going to join it with just half an inch. I don't want it too tight. You know, children, they can become very uncomfortable. You know, so I don't want it too tight. 
that's why I'm just removing half an inch so now because you don't want this one to go inside I'm going to secure it with pin so I'm just going to join it join here now with half an inch so now we are a little bit done with the upper bodies we are just going to set it aside once I put the elastic this is what I have I'm going to set it aside and I'm start with the down so for the down part I already joined the the one I cut out so I joined it and just used my lining to seal the edge so this one in, in the width is two meter and sixteen and a half inches in length so I also cut out these two I'm going to be putting a little of the lining the lining is two yards of lining and it's 13 inches in length the width, the width is two yards and the length is 13 inches so this is one and a half yard of two I already cut them out into 66 six inches so I'm going to gather it up I'm going to gather them on top like two step before then I'm going to use this one this is the one I used for the upper bodies I'm going to gather it I'm going to start from like um, 3 inches and gather it on top so this one I might be since this is 2 yards I might be using like 5 yards from here to gather on one line and then this other one that I cut out this one is hard harder than this one I'm going to gather it like it's going to form like 3 steps also this cranial line I'm going to sew it on the edge I'm going to place it like so so you can bond the edge of your cranial line or use your lining to cover it so it doesn't choke so I'm going to sew from the right side half an inch and then I will flip it over to the wrong side so guys I'm done doing gathers on this one I'm sorry I can't do my video well because my kids are making noise I will have to come into this room to record this part so I'm done adding crinoline to this one because I want if I this is the gathers I did or the lining this is the gathers and this is the softer net and this one is the harder net so because I want the net to be poking out, I had to double fold the crinoline at the bottom of the, the main fabric. So I'm going to join these two together now. Like you can see, I gathered them separately. I gathered this one separately too. So now when I place it on top, It's going to be poking out if you know what can see it the net is going to poke out so that, that's what I want so that's why I double fold this um this one because when after I did it when I checked it was too short it was too long I mean so I had to fold it again so this so actually what I want so I'll just join these two together now and I'm going to leave one inch the zipper line after the zipper line I'll, I'll run it to the other end I'll still leave the one inch which is for the zipper before I'll attach it to the upper bodies so now I'm done joining the up the um, gathers together you can see that's what I actually want like so so now I'm just going to join this one to the upper bodies we're going to join it from this zipper line down to the other zipper line down to the other zipper line only the main fabric please join only the main fabric to this one that you already joined so I'm done joining the up to the down. This is it. 
as I said. So next thing, I cut out another lining and I just multiply the waist measurement by 2, which is 23 inches. 23 inches times 2, I got 46 inches and I cut out 14 inches in length and 40, oh, it's actually more. Okay, 47 inches, 47 inches in width and 14 inches in length. It won't show 14 inches again because I already ruled it under. So you can see it's 13 inches now because I already double stitched the under. So this is the lining I will be using. I'm going to notch the middle. I'm going to notch the middle of this one. I'm going to turn the back of this dress. This is the one I will be using. So lining it. So I'm going to start from this zipper line of the body's lining. I'm going to start from the zipper line, and then I will be pleating it as I'm as as I'm sewing it, and then I will just um use pin to pin the middle to this one, and then I'm going to pleat it up to the other end you can gather it if you like anyone so after sewing it you flip it over so it's going to cover the main um it's going to be covering the inside of the dress so i'm done pleating it this is what the inside will look like now i'm just going to close the back To close the back, I'm going to sew this one the one inch. And then before I close it, from the waistline, I'm going to come down by two or three inches. And then I'll close it with the one inch. And then I'm going to take this one too. I'm going to do the same thing. Come down two or three inches. And I'm going to close it. You can see I'm closing them separately. I'm also going to take the lining. You can see the lining is flying this way. So this is flying this way. Can you probably take it and close it? I'm going to come down two or three inches. From the waist line and, and close it down before you insert the zip and then you, all you have left is to put a little bit of details in front so i'm done fixing the zip you can see this is it all that's left is for me to put a little bit of detail so this is what the inside will look like so, I'm just going to put this stone in the middle. I'm going to use my glue gun to attach the stones in the middle. And then I'm, I'm either going to put the stones around or I'll get a trimming to put around. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.